So paragraph 13 is about tides and tidal power or tidal energy. And this is an interesting and an emerging technology for energy. So we read, another source of energy can be found in the tidal movements of our ocean. New technologies are being developed to transform the kinetic energy of ocean waves and tides into electricity. This type of energy is promising because it is clean, renewable, and more dependable than wind and solar energy sources. Resembling underwater wind turbines, many of these new tidal energy systems harness or control the continuous movement of ocean waves and tidal currents. What are some advantages and disadvantages of this type of energy? All right, so let's just get advantages and disadvantages circled here, and then, and then if you would get your blue colored pencil. So advantages, it's clean, it's renewable, and it's very dependable. Two times a day, tides occur. As long as the moon orbits the Earth and the Earth orbits the sun, we're going to have tides. So tides are very dependable. They're clean, renewable, and very dependable. Well, what about disadvantages? We don't have any listed here, but can you think of a couple of disadvantages? So navigation and shipping lanes and um, boats that need to go through areas where there might be tidal turbines. Uh, fishing and the the way that tidal turbines might affect the fishing industry or the effect on marine life. So these are all possible disadvantages, but tidal energy is uh, emerging as a promising alternative energy source. We look forward to seeing the technology emerge and become more useful and to provide more energy. I'd like to show you two or three um, prototype uh, underwater turbines and just give you a, a look at, at what's happening in this area of tidal energy. So in this picture, um, this is a huge underwater turbine that's about to be put in place that will be fixed underwater and as you can see the design of this turbine, water would flow through. So if this were put in a channel that had a current or even in a river that had a strong current. The water would pass through this turbine. The turbine would turn. It would spin inside the sides of this turbine. There are magnets and windings which will generate electricity and send electricity through a cable to the shore. So this is a similar turbine to the one that you just looked at uh, which was above the water preparing to be set. So I don't have a pan out view of this turbine, but you can see that there are cables that are attached to this turbine that are part of the anchoring system for this turbine. And there's one other design that I'll show you. So here you see another design for an underwater wind turbine. This design shows the, the turbine base being mounted on structures that are anchored to the ocean floor. The blades of these turbines are designed in such a manner that they're all attached to an axle that runs all the way through here and of course this axle would be attached to this guy right here in the middle which is none other than a generator which will produce the electricity that will be sent through a cable to the shore. So I wanted you to just at least have a look at some of these and if you did not mark the paragraph before we moved on you might want to rewind or drag the bar back so that you can get your paragraph marked.